We're here in Berlin at the end of the last weekend of the Bundesliga with Peter Leko and Vincent Geimer. Is this how I pronounce your name? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, of course, you, uh, we, you got into the news, uh, what is it, a month ago when you won the big uh, Grenka Open. Um, how many interviews did you do so far? Yes, okay. <laughs> It is very amazing that I did it for me because I, I didn't accept something like this. Because, okay, I were number 100 and there were so many much stronger grandmasters than I, I fought before. And they are stronger, maybe. But, okay, it's a bit, a bit luck. Maybe they wanted to win against me and something like this, of course, helps. Uh -huh. How did you do this weekend? Okay, I'm not completely happy. The first game was okay, I think. But then the next two games, I had two better until winning positions and drew both. So, okay, with the end result, I would I can be happy. But with, if I see the, all the positions, not completely. And you, Peter, you also played. How, did, how was uh, your uh, weekend? Yeah, well, uh, I had three draws. Uh, I had first two games, two blacks. Uh, which was not exactly what I was hoping for because you know how I feel for the morning games <laughs> and exactly when the white game came it was 10 a.m. but uh, yesterday I had a very interesting game against Inar Kiev uh, finally okay interesting opening phase then uh, I missed some move then suddenly I had some problem then in time trouble uh, I came out on top and uh, believe that I might have a winning advantage and so that I'm calculating a force winning line but in fact it turned out that I saw many brilliant lines but I missed this okay not very simple one but the most uh, that he can just take my rook and so it was a six hour big fight uh, yesterday today I was trying to put pressure on uh, Hare Krishna uh, maybe I also had some pressure but he played very precisely and uh, in critical moments he played uh, two, three very, very sub subtle moves and I didn't have any chances and finally we just had to liquidate and it was a draw. Okay. And you have been working with Vincent, I think, uh, since November. Um, let's first go to you. How has it been for you to, uh, to work with Peter so far? Uh, how's your, the experience for you? Yes, very nice and what was the most amazing thing is I always worked with my engine in general but as I saw how good are his openings and his engine of course that's a different role for me because okay of course it's something different he has a great repertoire and yeah okay and Peter what is do you think uh, Vincent's special talent something he has that maybe other players of his age do not have yeah, well, this I have already seen right from the beginning because uh, it was very unfortunate that uh, when we started working, it just happened at the Under-20 World Championship. So we traveled to that championship without having a single uh, training session before. Uh, so I kind of asked uh, Vincent before the first round, uh, we didn't know the pairings. So, okay, yeah. I showed my games from European champion, team championship and Vincent showed me some of his games and the way he explained his games, uh, I already felt that this is something special, yeah, because uh, they are very deep. Uh, he's strategically very, very gifted and uh, this already at that point, I felt like, uh, wow, this is good. Uh -huh. Th this, is the, this is what you need. Uh -huh. Is there something Peter taught you that uh, you were like really amazed, like uh, something that he could tell you and you would, you would never find in a book, for example? Yeah, I'm sure that there is something and... Okay, I think we found many interesting lines so far and... Okay, of course there's much more work to do. I hope you're not only doing openings. No, <laughs> not only, but most of the time. Okay. What's your next tournament? Okay, I will play... <laughs> I have to think, <laughs> sorry. Um, I will play maybe, okay, I don't just already know. Bamberg, I, I think uh -huh. nobody knows because I generally want to play it at a courage, but this year it isn't, doesn't, it, you can, I can't play there because there's only the lower open and not strong. Uh -huh. And so I had to find something diff some different open and I chose this. But I guess you still have to combine uh, the chess with school. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can play more in the summer? Yeah, I will play a lot in the summer. And 
Okay, the school is very nice because they let me out of the school if I need it. And yeah, that's helpful too. Okay. And uh, yeah, what are your plans personally and what, are you, what's, what is the future with you and, and Vincent going to look like? Yeah, well, the plan is uh, after tomorrow we will ha have a training session. So, okay. yes, <laughs> there are plans. And uh, yeah, I mean, I find it uh, quite uh, amazing how Vincent combines chess and school because uh, this should be quite tough. And uh, usually we try to do the training on the weekends and a few days before, but basically then from Monday, Vincent is going to, to school. And kind of I feel always very cruel that we are still uh, Sunday night working on some heavy opening lines, like getting ready for the World Championship. And then next morning uh, I'm sleeping long and Vincent has to wake up 7 a.m. Uh, it's uh, but uh, he's mastering it very ni nicely also to to play the tournaments uh, it's uh, it's not not easy i mean also i feel that for vincent for example bundesliga is very tough because he is all the week in the school then suddenly friday night you are free and then already next day you are supposed yeah. to play and you don't get the rhythm yeah. so i think that uh, in general uh, vincent in the tournament is uh, probably much stronger already than okay this weekend uh, you played very well but th that's why I felt like uh, his play was not that stable in the Bundesliga because it's simply very difficult with this school yeah. to change the mindset once you have a tournament then you have chance to, to get your rhythm and uh, now I'm very happy because Vincent is clearly making uh, big progress but there is a lot of work ahead and the journey just started well, I wish you both best of luck. Uh, choose uh, cooperation. <laughs> yeah, thank Thanks. you. All right, thank you.